section 11.6 surfaces in uh, space there are four types of surfaces that we will talk about in this section and actually in this entire course uh, two would be a review spheres and planes and so you notice that uh, we have the general equation of a sphere and then secondly the the general representation of planes and and so you should be quite familiar with planes from sections 11.4 uh, and 11.5 from calculus 2 thirdly we talk about cylinders and a cylinder here is defined as some type of uh, curve C uh, that is said to be uh, generated by parallel lines that we call rulings. So a cylinder is a combination of a curve. And if you take this particular example here, we have a curve here, and then the so-called rulings would be these parallel lines that run down as so. And the intersection of these parallel lines with the curve is called a cylinder. And then uh, one aspect of a cylinder is that to notice the type of equation if it is a cylinder uh, we're talking about three variables x y and z and so the um, the equation that's a cylinder would always have one of those var variables omitted so if it's x and y and if it tells you that you're in the third space uh, or you're in the x y z plane and if they only make mention of x and y in the equation then the ruling or the, the so-called uh, parallel lines will be generated by the, the variable that's omitted within that equation. So if it's x and y, then there's no z. So what's not uh, written is actually um, what's forming the so-called parallel lines as such. And then the fourth type of surface is a quadric surface. And so a quadric surface is somewhat uh, of what we call a combination of the, the conic sections. And so back in the, the conic sections, uh, we talked about hyperbolas, uh, ellipses, and um, parabolas. And, and then as well as uh, circles. And so from a circle uh, and from a so-called um, ellipse, we form what's called an ellipsoid and we'll talk about, talk about that. And then from those combinations as well, we could talk about uh, 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 hy hyperboloids of one sheet, hyperboloids of two sheets, elliptic cones, elliptic paraboloids, and hyperbolic paraboloids. Now, the basic example in the diagram of an ellipsoid you kind of get the idea uh, that, that the basic structure of an ellipsoid is uh, an ellipse and uh, I would say a combination of an ellipse and you, you have elongated uh, the circle. So when you have problems of this type and of this form, then you have an ellipsoid. Secondly, um, hyperboloids of one sheet. The equations are somewhat similar. The only difference would be here, that negative sign that would differ uh, this type of uh, quadric surface from the so-called ellipsoid. So because of that, that negative, uh, then we form uh, a so-called uh, ruling as you did back in the cylinders. And so the, the variable that has the, uh, the negative coefficient is said to uh, be the uh, the axis of the uh, hyperboloid or the ruling, if we could still use the terminology, from uh, cylinders. So, so here for this particular basic problem, uh, the z variable has a negative coefficient, and so the the elongation uh, 
of this uh, hyperbola, the one sheet runs with respect to the uh, z-axis. Thirdly, uh, very similar uh, in equation structure, but uh, it differs in terms of the graph, is the hyperboloid of two sheets. Um, the, the basic structure of the equation is similar to the ellipsoid and the hyperboloid of one sheet, but now you have uh, not just one negative coefficient, but two. And, and so then, if that be the case, the argument is the, the so-called axis of the hyperboloid is with respect to the variable with positive uh, coefficient. And here, z, for this particular example, um, has positive coefficient. And so the elongation of this hyperboloid of two sheets runs with respect to the uh, z-axis. Uh, if you shift the equation around, then, then so does the, uh, the graph also. The, uh, the fourth type is an elliptic cone. Now, the elliptic cone, if you look at the left side of the equation, it looks somewhat like the hyperboloid of one sheet, but the right side, here we have a 0 and not a 1. And, and so if that be the case, then we say the so-called axis or the rulings would be respect to the, uh, the variable with negative coefficient. Now, now, that also could be misleading because you could take that same equation, you can write it a little bit different. You could take this equation, and it can be written as z squared. Well, let me use different color. So this could be z squared over c squared minus x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equal to 0. And it's the same equation, just, just ran a, a negative through the equation. So it's, it's the same equation. The argument here, if you see that, then it's, it's also still an elliptic cone, but the axis of the um, ellipse is set to be with respect to the variable with positive coefficient, which would still be z, and you still draw the graph as such. So you want to just watch out for that and, and, and note the similarity. Fifthly, the elliptic uh, paraboloid. The elliptic paraboloid, um, it, in all of these uh, quadric surfaces, you can see the, the combinations. They, they call these combination traces. I didn't make mention of that, but you see a trace here of the ellipse, and then you'll see the, um, the trace of the so-called um, paraboloid. So, so here we have traces of an ellipse, and then the so-called um, parabola, the uh, 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 or the, uh, the so-called paraboloid uh, trace. Its axis of the uh, the paraboloid is with respect uh, to the uh, variable that's raised to the first power, uh, the z. And so, the emphasis uh, of this graph runs with respect to the uh, z axis. Then the last quadric surface is the hyperbolic uh, paraboloid. Again, it's um, the axis of the um, paraboloid is with respect to uh, the variable raised to the first pow uh, power. Notice the difference between uh, this uh, particular uh, paraboloid, the hyperbolic one, and then the, and then the uh, elliptic paraboloid. The elliptic paraboloid, there's a positive sign, and then for the hyperbolic paraboloid, there's a negative sign. Uh, that sign difference uh, gives you a totally different graph as well. And so um, you should be able to identify, um, if you're given an equation, um, what type of uh, surface that is, if it's quadric or if it's uh, a cylinder, if it's a sphere or a plane. And then uh, sometimes you may need to uh, be able to graph uh, 
uh, uh, such equations.